have reviewed a good number of CPU coolers, but this by far is the most stylish and the most sleek CPU cooler which I have ever seen. This ProArt LC420, as its name implies, is part of the ProArt line of products. There are motherboards, displays, laptops, graphic cards, and now a CPU cooler. Let's see what's inside this box. First, the LC420 comes with three Noctua NFA14 fans, each packed nicely in their own Ziploc bags. Next, a big bag of accessories, followed by a step-by-step -step installation guide. A bit on the fans. These are the big 2000 RPM industrial fans which you usually see as case fans. They can be quite powerful and do not have any RGB on them. For the accessories, first, it comes with the backplate for Intel CPUs and the mounting bracket for AMD CPUs. Next, there's the three-way fan splitter for the three Noctua fans. Third, a lot of screws. We begin with four AMD compatible plate thumb screws cap, four AMD transfer Intel standoff screws, four thumb screws, the mounting screws for Intel LGA 1200 and 1100 CPUs, fan screws to mount the fan onto the radiator, four AMD compatible plate standoff screws, mounting screws for Intel LGA 1700 CPUs, and 12 screws to mount the entire cooler inside the case. I may create an installation guide for Intel and AMD CPUs to make it easier for you should you want to buy this cooler. The LC420 is all black with no hint of RGB. The 420mm radiator is of a good depth with a good amount of fan density to retain and pass through cool air to cool the CPU. The radiator also features a nice textured look, unlike some of the other coolers which give a plain or glossy finish. The tubes are also a good length, starting at the end of the long radiator up to the start of the water block. The water block is a big cube and I don't think it is an Azertech design. You can see a subtle pro Art logo here is all black and there's no RGB. There are two wires here, one for the pump and a USB cable to power on the indicator on the water block. The main highlight of this AIO is this line of LEDs which I will show you how it works in the later part of the video. I guess this fulfills the pro aspect of the pro art as this is an all black professional looking CPU cooler. But how does it really perform? It is interesting that ASUS has decided to start with a 420mm for a ProArt cooler instead of the usual 360 or 240. Go big or go home, I'm not sure. As this is the first 420mm AIO on this channel, I do not have a baseline, so I'm going to compare the LC420 against another cooler, the Cooler Master PL360 Flux. First, on Cinebench R23, the LC420 managed to cool a 4700K 2 degrees lower than the PL360 on average. Both coolers deliver similar max temperatures on the 4700K. However, on the 7700X, the LC420 cools almost similar to the PL360. It is 0.2 degrees C less than the PL360. But that said, it's still a pretty good 92 plus degrees C on the 7700X. That's 3 degrees C less than the maximum operating temperature of 95 degrees C. Load power levels are pretty much similar on the 4700K and the 7700X. And you may be asking, how does this cooler perform in games? On Counter-Strike 2, the LC420 dishes out 59.2 degrees C on the 4700K. The PL360 is only a bit warmer, with an average of 60.5 degrees C. The LC420 does keep the 4700K at a good temperature on a game that uses more CPU, at least traditionally. From what I see, I think Counter-Strike 2 uses more GPU than what CSGO did. On Cyberpunk 2077, I was kind of surprised at the higher temperatures of 71 degrees C from the LC420 and 66 from the PL360. Even though Cyberpunk uses more GPU, the 14700K still runs warmer than what I have expected. I was kind of disappointed that the LC420 ran hotter than the PL360. A difference of 5 degrees C is a big gap. I am not saying that it's a not so good AIO, but I was expecting better performance with 3 Noctua fans as well as a 420mm radiator. So how about the art in the Pro Art? There's both a beauty and a beast. Between the sleek all black textured finish of the radiator and the 
nice long tubes. That's of course the final portion and that's the water block. Yes, these lights change based on the behavior of your PC. In Armory Crate, you can choose between, for example, CPU, GPU, temperatures, how much they are used, or how fast your CPU fans are spinning. The lights light up and change in real time. For example, when I set this to show CPU temperature, the water block shows two lights at idle. When I let Cinebench R23 run, it shows four to five lights to indicate high temperatures or high CPU usage. This is a nice subtle way to let you know if your PC is on idle or on full load. If you like such info and do not like any of the flashy colors or screens on coolers such as the NZXT Elite or ROG Ryujin, you can consider this AIO. You could always swap the knocked out fans for some RGB fans if you want to have more colors inside your system. I have to say, it does look pretty good in an all-black system. The only hint of light, if you allow it, are these five LEDs. It gives a nice contrast in an all-black PC build. If you do not want the indicator to be on, you could always turn it off in Armory Crate. But do take note, you will need a chassis that can mount a 420mm radiator. You can choose between the Fantex P500A, Corsair 7000D, Lianli Lenku 3, ROG Hyperion, Meshify 2 XL, and of course, our widely used Fantex N2 Pro 2. You did say there was also a beast. If it's not a beast of a cooler, what is it? Well, I was preferring to the amount of noise that the three fans produce. These three industrial PPM fans are okay on idle as well as gameplay, But when you turn on heavy loads, listen to this. So just take note if you have more than three Noctua fans inside your PC build. Well, at least Noctua did not package in the brown fans. In my opinion, this is a bit of a fail on the art side. If you're going for a stylish all black slick AIO, perhaps it makes more sense to be silent, but Daily. Frankly speaking, for a 420mm cooler, I was expecting better performance than a 360. I'm not saying it's bad, it cools pretty good, but I would have preferred a bigger gap in temperatures between the two coolers. But that said, the LC420 does cool the 14700K and the 7700X to good temperatures. So yes, I do not have the price for this cooler, but if you want to go for an all-black, slick-looking cooler, you can consider this AIO. As it is a pro-art product, I think the price will be at a high side, but probably not as high as an ROG Ryujin. It is a good looking cooler with some amount of noise. The Noctua fans are great, but if you don't like the noise, just swap them out for something else. However, this system indicator does take the sweet spot for innovation. It does not give as much information as compared to the LCDs on other AIOs, but it is a good hint especially when you view it from a distance. So smash the thumbs up if you like this review. If you want to know more about the PL360 Flux, you can watch this video over here. So thank you for watching.